Silly socks. Hi, friends. Today, we're going on an adventure to discover how people talk to each other long before smartphones. Imagine a world with no internet, no apps, and not even a single phone anywhere at all. Let's find out how people shared messages long, long ago. Hold on tight. We're traveling back in time together. Long ago, before telephones existed, people had to send every message by hand. Messengers sometimes walked for many miles, carrying scrolls or letters that took days to arrive. To reach places even farther away, some people built fires and sent smoke signals into the sky. But smoke could blow away in the wind, and letters could take weeks before anyone read them. Sometimes people even trained pigeons to carry tiny messages tied to their legs. Talking across long distances was slow, tricky, and often unreliable until something amazing was invented. And then came a clever inventor with a brand new idea that changed the world forever. In the year 1876, a young inventor named Alexander Graham Bell made history. Bell wondered, if we can send sounds through the air, could we send voices through wires too? So he built a device that could carry sound through a wire. The very first telephone. This telephone had a wooden box, a wire, and a mouthpiece for speaking into. To test his idea, Bell spoke into the mouthpiece while another person listened. And for the very first time, a voice traveled through a wire. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. A miracle of sound. Bell's invention was the very first step toward the telephones we use today. Let's take a closer look. This is what Alexander Graham Bell's very first telephone looked like. Soon, telephones began spreading to cities everywhere, with operators to connect the calls. As more people got telephones, someone had to help connect all the calls. Operators used cords and plugs to connect one person's call to another. Before automatic dialing, operators connected every single call by hand. It took focus and quick hands to keep everyone talking. Telephones started linking towns, cities, and families. And soon, telephones began changing shape and moving right into people's homes. Before long, telephones began appearing in homes just like yours. To make a call, you had to turn the crank to ring the operator first. Once connected, you picked up the receiver and spoke into the mouthpiece on the wall. And soon, telephones got smaller, ready to sit right on a table. Meet the candlestick phone. To use it, you lifted the receiver and spoke right into the mouthpiece. But soon, inventors added dials and numbers, introducing the rotary phone. To call someone, you had to spin the dial for every number. Rotary phones were strong, stylish, and found in homes all around the world. As time passed, phones got even easier to use, with buttons instead of a spinning dial. Next came the push-button phones. Faster, brighter, and easier to use. In 1965, Terry Paul invented the cordless phones, phones had no more wires. In the 1980s, cordless phones became popular, allowing people to walk and talk. But phones didn't stop there. Soon people could carry them anywhere. Early mobile phones were big and heavy, but everyone wanted one. And soon, those giant phones shrank, fitting right into your pocket. By the 2000s, Phones got smaller, lighter, and came in every color you could imagine. Some phones could even take pictures and send tiny text messages. IBM create the very first smartphone in 1992. This was then followed by BlackBerry in 1999. And then, the world changed forever. When in 2007, Apple released its first iPhone, this was followed by Android's first phone in 2008. Smartphone grew smarter. 
with touch screens, music, games, and internet all in one. And before long, everyone had a smartphone. The start of our modern world of connection. Smartphones bring everything to your fingertips. Chatting, games, music, and learning. You can talk face to face, share photos, play games, and explore the world all on one device. Smartphones help us stay connected, learn new things, and share our stories with the world. Who knows what comes next? Maybe you'll invent the next one. Stay curious, little explorers. Like and subscribe.